Hello there, you're here again with me, Miss Blanca. For part one of today's video, we will be learning about master artist Yayoi Kusama. I will be teaching you about her life and how she came to be such a unique artist. I will also be teaching you about some of the elements, techniques, and principles of art that she uses to make beautiful art pieces. So if you're ready, let's begin. Master Yayoi Kusama was born on March 22, 1929 in Matsumoto, Japan. She is a Japanese artist who was self-described as an obsessional artist known for her extensive use of polka dots and for her infinity installations. She employed painting, sculpture, performance art, and installations in a variety of styles, including pop art and minimalism. By her own account, Kusama began painting as a child. At about the time, she began experiencing hallucinations that often involved fields of dots. Those hallucinations and the theme of dots would continue to inform her art throughout her career. Family conflict and the desire to become an artist drove her to move in 1957 to the United States where she settled in New York City. Her early work in New York City included what she called infinity net paintings. Her paintings from that period anticipated the emerging minimalist movement but her work soon transitioned to pop art and performance art. She became a central figure in the New York avant-garde and her work was exhibited alongside that such artists of Donald Judd, Klaus Oldenburg, and Andy Warhol. Obsessive repetition continued to be a theme in Kusama sculpture and installation art, which she began to exhibit in the early 1960s. Mirrors gave her the opportunity to create infinite planes in her installations and she would continue to use them in later pieces. Kusama moved back to Japan in 1973. From 1977, by her own choice, she lived in a mental hospital. She continued to produce art during that period and also wrote surreal poetry and fiction. Kusama returned to the international art world in 1989 with shows in New York City and Oxford, England. In 1993, she represented Japan at the Venice Biennale with work that included mirror room, pumpkin, an installation in which she filled a mirror room with pumpkin sculptures covered in her signature dots. Between 1998 and 1999, a major retrospective of her work was shown at the Los Angeles County Museum of Art, the Museum of Modern Art in New York City, the Walker Art Center in Minneapolis, Minnesota, and Tokyo's Museum of Contemporary Art. In 2006, she received the Japan Art Association's Premium Imperial Prize for Painting. Her work was the subject of a major retrospective at the Whitney Museum of American Art in New York City in 2012, and a traveling exhibition attracted record crowds at the Hishkorn Museum and Sculpture Garden in Washington, D.C. in 2017. That year, she opened a museum dedicated to her work in Tokyo, near her studio and the psychiatric hospital where she lives to this day. For this art piece, we will be coloring and painting. We will also be using line and pattern. A line is an element of art defined by a point moving in space. A line may be two or three dimensional, descriptive, implied, or abstract. A pattern is a principle of design that indicates movement created by the careful placement of repeated elements in a work of art to cause a visual tempo or beat. All right, kids, now that we know everything there is to know about our master artist, Yayoi Kusama, it's time for us to soak in what we've learned and get ready to apply our skills to create our art project. So stay tuned for part two of this video to get creative and have fun.